Hello and welcome to Glean ZB TV for Thursday, the show that puts Glean ZB into your virtual headset. Yes, I'm bringing New Zealand to the world and the world to New Zealand. And um, I've just just a warning, just a warning. This is good. This is a this is a George H W Bush funeral special, and it's not going to be that respectful. So if that's the kind of thing that you think you're going to be offended by. Um, I'm not saying don't watch, because I want you to watch. Uh, watch with the sound down? Yeah, uh, even then you might still be offended, to be honest. I don't know what you should do. Watch it and then forget that you've watched it. After you've told all your friends to watch it. Um, I just want, they, they, they geez, they, everybody's, they, there's not a bad word to be said about uh, George Bush today. Uh, what a great president he was. Uh, how he reached across the aisle, uh, put everybody else's needs above his own, all that sort of stuff. Not so much talk about uh, instigating that whole mess in Iraq that we never really managed to extract ourselves from and has basically led to the end of the world as we know it. Not, not so much talk about that. But, you know, lots of nice things. But it does make you wonder uh, what they'll say about uh, this bush when he's gone. I wonder if she's wondering that. Because, um, you know, people just went on about how, what a great president and everything. And I don't think anybody's going to say that. I don't think anyone's going to say that about him. Are they going to say, hmm, it wasn't quite as good as dad? Is that what they're going to say at his funeral? I don't know. Um, and I, I was just absolutely fixated by the coverage today with how many uh, bands there are involved. This was the band outside the rotunda before the funeral even began um they were just standing there waiting for ages hours they were standing there before then they got to play like hail to the chief and that was about it then he he was in the air and driven off and then of course there were lots of uh, musicians uh, at the cathedral where the funeral was there were more musicians at uh, andrew's air force base and they're all just standing there waiting they play one or two songs and then they just they just stand there and wait and wait. And I had no idea being in the military involved so much waiting, but I couldn't wait that long. I wouldn't have the patience for that. There's only one thing worse than waiting, and that's meetings. I wonder how many meetings they have to go to. Um, more technical stuff around the, the funeral. I was very impressed. Um, I've been a pallbearer before. I've carried coffins. They are surprisingly heavy. Like, you think... Oh, how heavy can it really be? It's not that big. But I guess you've got like a whole person in there and whatever the coffin's made out of. And like sometimes there's flowers on top or in this case, flags. A lot of flaggage going on there. But you see, these guys carrying them out of the rotunda down a lot of steps. Uh, you've got to be coordinated to make that work um, without even breaking a sweat. Because that could have gone horribly wrong. This is kind of like a reverse dead rocky situation, basically. Rather than running up the steps in a tracksuit, you're coming down the steps carrying a coffin. And, um, and I mean, imagine, the, the, I guess the worst case scenario, somebody trips, it bounces down, opens up, and then he comes out. That you would, And by this stage, I mean, he's been dead quite a long time now. He's basically pouring out of that, let's be honest. That, that would not be pretty. Told you this was not going to be particularly respectful. I'm sorry about that. I hope there are some of you who share my sense of black humour and are finding this reasonably entertaining. Finally, uh, you do have to wonder sometimes uh, if, if only you could hear what's being said. Uh, so, of course, we had all the presidents sitting in the front row at the church, ex-presidents, people who tried to be president, couldn't be president. But... They, these guys, they were having such a natter and such a good time. And you just want, you, you know, he was probably saying, ah, oh, I remember when I beat him. And he, and yeah, remember when I took over from him and had to fix everything. Um, yeah, all that sort of stuff. Remember when I tried to be president and didn't manage it. Remember when I had never ever tried to be president and probably looked cooler than just about anybody. So that stuff like that. And then this guy turns up and like, no more fun. Everybody's dead serious after that, especially her. She, whew, boy, 
Look at the sour face on that. I'm Glenn ZB. Uh, that was your George H.W. Bush funeral rap episode. Uh, who knows who'll die tomorrow, and maybe we can do another one. See you then. Thanks for having me in your virtual headset.